Welcome back everyone, I am the Depressed Eeyore, and this is Splunky. Against my better judgment, let's continue. Tried not to die as much, but I'm sure I'm not making any promises. Okay, got my rock. Alright. Oh, really? You stupid bastards. And I died. Because... Whatever. Alright. No. I'm just not gonna deal with that. <laughs> I'm not gonna deal with a dark room in the beginning. A uh, baseball mitt. That's actually kind of useful. Uh, there we go. Useful in a kind of not so useful way, maybe, possibly. Ceiling trap. When the ceiling starts dropping, you bet, uh, better start hop, uh, stop hopping. That's terrible. Oh wow, that thing goes all the way down. Interesting. Oh wow, this thing's got some... Trying to help this guy with this thing. Not so easy. I'm hitting him, but not very much. Gotcha. Oh, by the way, you're getting crushed. Unfortunately, it broke everything. Oh well. So I lost the wand, but that's okay. It happens. And I got attached to the wall. <sighs> I would be happy if you didn't freaking attach every freaking surface there was in this game. And I died. I couldn't jump that far. I am trying to get the wand whenever I can, because you really kind of need... What the... I don't even know what hit me. I, yeah, I honestly don't know what hit me. I didn't see the arrow fly or anything like that. So, not sure. Gotcha. Gotcha. Trick is to kind of lure him and hope for the best. That's really all you can hope for. Now, the only other thing you got to be careful about is this. The rings go really fast uh, compared to the freeware version. And it flies, tries to fly towards me. It's terribly horrible. So I'm... Oh, what? Really? It... It just literally... I don't understand, the, the wand is so terrible now. It's <laughs> that's a terrible weapon. It's actually really amazing how bad it is now. Just kill me. Thank you. Like, you saw what it just did. It literally just shot straight up and killed me. 
and I don't know why. It doesn't make any sense. I will be happy with a shotgun at this point. Alright, let's put a stupid rope down and we'll watch it burn. And it fell. I could have set a bomb, but it would have set off the freaking uh, shopkeeper. So yeah, I'm d You know, but it doesn't really matter. Having health doesn't make much of a difference in this game. Drop one there. Yeah, I killed him, but it didn't couldn't get away. So in the freeware version the um the wand goes a lot slower. Like the the rings don't don't go anywhere as fast, and the other thing is it doesn't like loop around as quickly, so you never have to worry about it freaking raking across the screen and just blindsiding you for no reason. Which seems to be the theme of this uh, of the weapon now is just to kill you, which is pretty terribly horrible. I'm running out of bombs. Come on. Just come on over. Oh, come on. Just a little bit further. Got it. You might be wondering why am I grabbing this thing if it's just a freaking death trap. Because I have nothing else. I literally have nothing else. Okay. So I'll just take it slow. And hope for the best. Despite these major terribly horrible flaws, um, it's still better than, um, it's still pretty good to have for the, uh, the last, for the last boss, simply because of the setup of the stage. I'm kind of letting it do its thing. Stay away from me. I'm gonna have to use a bomb, because I can't get past the lava. Whoa! enough I survived that. Of course the one might still kill me in the freaking final stage, but we'll see. Let it do its thing. Let it do its thing. Thank you. It does kill things pretty much in one shot, which is nice. That's pretty much the only good thing about it. Alright.
Okay, old Max Lair again. This time with a wand, though this might just not work out in any case. This is not easy. The boss summons, as you can see, it's just like in Mario 3, like I mentioned before. When the, the boss is in crushing mode, it's supposed to pause above you and then fall down. So, I'm getting gypped. But I'm kind of used to it at this point because they've changed the boss. And not exactly in the best way. I've gotten pretty used to killing the freaking Anubis guy, at least. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Thank you. Thank you, Spike Trap. Okay, can't go that way. I'm just going to put it here. Lava really makes uh, things a lot more difficult. It's not so bad if you have, like, I don't know. <laughs> I just threw it in the lava. Yay. Wonderful. And it, didn't, it bounced off the wall, so I couldn't get it. And I'm dead. Yeah, the lava really makes things difficult. Um, because there's not really any way to get around it. You can try roping down, but your rope will usually catch on fire. And it's bad times for everybody. I could have tried dropping from down the other side, but there was a freaking arrow trap there, and it would have probably knocked me over. Because the game likes doing that. Oh, thank you. Thank you for... Putting it in the wrong area. Well, there's no way to kill him now. So yeah, they changed the, the final boss a little bit. I mean, fundamentally he's pretty much the same, he's just a lot faster. And that's not exactly the best thing. Yay, prayers to Kali. Hey look! Well. There's no way of getting the wand, because it, that's over a lava pit, so... Funny enough, um, that attempt with the wand, I didn't get to use the wand, really, because... Um, I got telefragged. He teleported right on top of me, so it killed me instantly. Anyway, uh, as I was saying before I got rudely interrupted by bullshit, um... Despite the fact I had the wand, which I was going to use to kill enemies that spawned, not a single enemy spawned. So, I lose anyway. <laughs> Yay, rope! I 
don't know how I pulled that off. I don't even care. I'm gonna die in one hit. Hey, bombs. Oh. Really? You had one job, Anubis. You had one freaking job. At least I killed him that time, and I got the wand. For what level good it'll do me. I almost forgot about him. Not gonna take any risk. We'll go up that way. Alright, one health left. Let's do this. They just feel a lot smaller compared to the freeware version. I mean, everything's kind of looks kind of a little bit bigger, but the stages themselves definitely look a little smaller, in my opinion. Oh wow, I got really lucky there. That was probably my one freebie. I don't think I can afford a kissing booth. Actually, I can. Okay, looks like an arrow has already been fired. Alright! Here we go again. So the trick is not to get caught climbing, because he's just going to fall on top of you anyway, despite the fact he shouldn't. Usually he's supposed to, when he get, what you're supposed to do is get underneath him. will cause him to go nuts. Ah, stuff spawned. Also, you have to be able to get out of the stage. That is something you got to keep in mind. Oh, that was close. It's kind of hard to tell its shape, I guess you can say. A little messy. Okay. Killed a few more enemies. It also becomes inactive, apparently. I don't know if this stage is timed. I don't think it is. Mario Brothers is right here. Okay. There's also uh, a bunch of platforms in the top. You can actually be on top of the boss, but it doesn't really do anything for you.
Oh, you gotta be kidding me. And I accidentally hit the A button instead of the X button. So I was doing okay. It takes freaking forever to do this, though. Um, if you have bombs, it's a lot faster, but I have no bombs because I have to use them against Anubis. This is, and I'll repeat this again, this is why you don't take the shortcuts. They're really bad. Yay, got thrown. But, unless I want to constantly do repeated run-throughs of the same bazillion stages, I got really no real choice in the matter. Yeah, wonderful. Wow, I didn't even find a noob, uh, noobus this time. But that's okay, I won't kill myself. I mean, I'll still have to deal with a bunch of enemies. <laughs> Assuming I don't get telefragged again. Almost. Alright, I made a bomb out of that. It's better than nothing. Oh, come on. Eh, whatever. I was gonna go over there to see if I'm getting that crate, but it doesn't seem to matter. Because I'm not gonna fight a freaking mummy for it. They added a lot of mummies. <laughs> there used to be nowhere near this many mummies in the uh, freeware version. Great. Just put a bomb there. Bad enough that there's lava. It's even worse that the lava spits out enemies that essentially are inv invulnerable. I don't know any way of killing them. <laughs> why do you, why do you make me cling? Why do you make me cling to the walls? I even tried pressing down and jump to try to uncling from the wall fast enough, and I could not do it. just doesn't happen. Thank you. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. At least they die on their own, I guess. That's something. Parking spit. Mummy. Usually there's a mummy in every freaking corridor that's only too uh, too tall. Amazingly enough, there isn't one here. There's one there though. Might as well keep going. <laughs> no, I'm not doing it. A dark cave. There we go. Keep getting stabbed. Come on, you can do it. Thank you. Yes, I know the wand has killed me more times than a bazillion, but um, it's really my only option. I, I honestly don't have any options. 
I have to use it. I just have to hope that the thing just doesn't rake across the screen like it likes to do. You know what? Just take a rope. The, the more ropes I have in the end, uh, the easier things will be to uh, survive the final stage, because it is possible to get stuck after beating the boss. I'll let you use your imagination to kind of figure out how that works. And I'll let your imagination decide how, how the hell I survived that. I'm not, even I'm not even that worried about grabbing money at this point. I just kind of want to beat the game. It's not so, like I said, it's not so bad if you go from like start to end, but I'm not doing that. So that would take way too long. Okay. Our exit's down there. Try this again. Once again, I have the wand. It may help, may not. It's just one of those things sometimes, you know. Okay. Let's just get you over here. So yeah, you can do something like that, it's pretty funny. Okay, I'm gonna let stuff spawn. I'm just spreading things out a little bit just so I can have some movement. That didn't work exactly as planned. Shit, 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 spawn things. Luckily the guy goes, luckily the boss seems to go unactive, or inactive, when I am uh, I'm away from things. Okay, let them do their thing.
Oh, close one. Come on, get up here. As you can see, there's the lava down there. Trying to play it safe as much as possible. Because I really don't want to redo this again. Okay, just making sure everything dies. Now, the catch is not to die and get out of the stage. <sighs> that was more frustrating than it needed to be. Your character unlocked. Chief unlocked. Made it. With very, very little money. Eee. You get 50,000 for, uh, the giant idol. You will re be remembered as a hero. And there you go. I believe that's pretty much it. So, compared to the freeware version, it's got some new- uh, it definitely has a lot more, uh, they have a lot more new enemies. Uh, they have an entirely new secret stage, which is the uh, UFO. Um, besides that, uh, the new items are pretty cool. Um, the The gambling thing is not as bad as the, orig uh, the original. Um, the stages seem a little bit smaller, which is kind of neat. It's kind of good in, in like the cases of the ice stage, because the freeware version of the ice stage is very, very open because the stages are bigger, and it, there was a lot more like leap of faiths in um, the ice stage, especially if you don't have like a jetpack or anything. So the stage being smaller did kind of help with that, but like in other stages, like the jungle, mine, and the final stage with this temple, um, it kind of, I don't know, it, it seems like I can get through stages a lot faster, and you probably noticed it too, like the moment I got the wand I just zoomed through the stages, assuming I don't kill myself. Uh, the wand, I don't like the fact they changed that. Um, some of the enemies are kind of annoying, like the teleporting enemy. Um, everything else, though, is pretty standard. It's pretty much most, mostly like the game. Um, it's, it's too bad you can't do multiplayer. Um, I mean, you can do... You can do um, what's it called? Local co-op, which is completely useful so useless for a PC game. Um, there is a kind of like some special challenge stages that come up like once a week, very similar to the challenge stages that come up on um, Orcs Must Die 2. Um, I've never done any of them. I have no real interest in doing them. I just kind of want to show off this game. Um, I'll probably play this game some more on my own time, kind of going through the stage entirely. There's still there's still secrets that can be unlocked, like multiple characters. There's the City of Gold to try to get as much money as possible. Um, pretty much if you have a lot of bombs and you go to the city of gold, you can easily make you can make a bank. All you have to do is just blow up all the walls and stuff like that. Uh, besides that, um, not much else to say. It's Splunky. Um, I probably I would probably recommend the wait, wait wait until it's on sale. I don't remember how much I paid for this. I think it was ten bucks. But uh, yeah, I mean it's mostly functional. I actually wait. There's one major complaint. The fact I stick to the wall so easily is very very annoying. Um, it just, 
I cannot count the amount of times I like I cling to walls and it really messes me up. It prevents me from like jumping on top of enemies. It prevents me from getting away from spec traps. It's just it's really bad. It's really sticky. But I managed to get through it nonetheless. So I think I'll go ahead and call this a video. I am the depressed Eeyore. This was well. Let's check one quick final thing. Yeah, we got this tribal guy. So that's the character we unlocked. All right. Well, I am the depressed Eeyore, and this was Splunky. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. See you guys later.